Good evening guys and welcome to the channel. This is Salty and you're watching Salty Rides. Today I thought I would you know kind of uh, make a short video about all those f***ers who keep bitching about the KTM 390 Adventures Quick Shifter. Now what everybody needs to kind of you know, uh, wrap their head around is that the Quick Shifter is not made for city riding. Say hello to Nabir. He is our subscriber number 50 on Salty Rides. A round of applause, shout out to Nabir. Now, what you need to understand is that the Quick Shifter is not made for city riding. And uh, the purpose of a Quick Shifter is basically, uh, you know, when when all these MotoGP racers are doing their laps, they don't want to miss out on those half a second that you can blip your accelerator you pull the clutch in they don't want to miss out on that half a second and that's why the quick shifter is actually there now on the ktm 390 adventure the quick shifter is not perfect but then any car out there show me a vehicle that has a quick shifter in the price range of uh, so uh, show me any 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 bike out there that has a quick shifter in this price range 4 lakh rupees it's got a quick shifter now i know it is not perfect but let me you know impart some knowledge uh, onto you all right so good 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 so the quick shifter let's say now i am in gear number two now what people do is they just go up to 4500 odd uh, rpm and they use the quick shifter that's not what you're supposed to do now let me demonstrate how to use the quick shifter right now and you can notice if there is any jerk okay here we go All right, now on the 5th to 6th gear, there was a considerable jerk. But other than that, we were able to see that the quick shifter worked like a charm. The road ahead of me was not very uh, free. But then if you use the quick shifter between the RPMs of about 5,800 to 6,200, in that range, if you use the quick shifter, then it, it works like a charm. The upshifts are smooth. I'm going to show it to you again. Let me just... Uh, get to uh, road part of the road that is relatively free all right here we go here we go let me downshift let me downshift let me slow down 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 here we go all right so we have a smooth patch we are on second gear right now all right i got a call over there so here we go so i am in second gear oh, let's uh, let's uh, reduce the speed a little bit Come on, man. There we go. All right, so we have 35, 34 kilometers per hour. Now I am gonna use the quick shifter on this. The truck is here. You see that? No jump. So basically, you use the quick shifter while upshifting. You should be at at least 6,000 RPM, and you shouldn't be blipping your accelerator. Don't do that. Don't don't blip it. Just keep the accelerator on and do your upshifts when the RPMs go up to 6,000. Now it's gonna get take some time to get used to, right? You you can't really keep staring at the uh, RPM uh, whatever meter and uh, <laughs> you know the, use the quick shifter so it, it takes some getting used to like you need to uh, know the rhythm of the vehicle you need to know when the vehicle has hit that 6000 rpm mark and then you can easily upshift like i'm doing right now now when it comes to downshifting it is simple you just let go of the accelerator you can see i'm not using the clutch and there it goes it's as smooth as that F what the f is going on on this road man anyway so it's as smooth as that no f you know, problems and that's what the quick shifter is for 
if you if you get used to it it's good enough right it's the it's very simple i'm gonna summarize it for you so that you don't forget upshift without flipping your accelerator when your rpms are about 6000 and downshift let go of the accelerator and just you know downshift don't don't do anything else don't uh, try to adjust the rpm or whatever the ecu will take care of everything and that is as simple as that and today we found our <laughs> 50th subscriber on the channel i am pretty happy we have hit uh, one milestone <laughs> one milestone after like whatever but then uh, every subscriber counts every view counts if you're new to the channel do consider subscribing the sun is going to set look at it i mean look at that sun and just you know subscribe what the f are you doing just do it subscribe all right all right uh, uncle yeah so that's it for this video i will see you in the next one until then stay safe ride safe cheers guys